This solar eclipse happening next month could fulfill a 2,000-year-old Bible prophecy. Yes, you heard me right. An eclipse happening here in America actually has some biblical significance. Before the people start freaking out and say, Oh, what does America have to do with the Bible? What do eclipses have to do with the Bible, guys? Just watch the video all the way through. I was a skeptic at first, but after doing more research, this actually seems like a warning from God coming to pass. Watch till the end of this video, and I promise you'll be convinced. What's going on, guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, Let's get into it. On April 8th, a once-in-a-lifetime solar eclipse is going to plunge certain parts of America into total darkness during the middle of the day. The news is even calling this an astronomical experience like no other. The shocking part is this eclipse is going to be passing through eight towns called Nineveh, which is the city recorded in the Bible where the prophet Jonah warned them about the wrath of God to come. This will also be taking place under the constellation Cetus, which means the whale. As many of you know, the prophet Jonah was swallowed by a whale before being spit onto the shore shore to go preach repentance to Nineveh. Jesus says in Matthew 16, 4, A wicked and adulterous generation seeks after a sign, and no sign shall be given to it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. And he left them and departed. We learn in the very beginning of the Bible that God created astronomical events in the sky to be signs to mark sacred times. Genesis 1, 14 says this, And God said, Let there be lights in the vault of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them serve as signs to mark sacred times and days and years. Now let's address the skeptics real quick. There's two questions that skeptics may have. What makes this eclipse any sort of indication that this is a warning from God? And why out of all locations would America be significant in prophecy when it's not even a geographical location that's explicitly mentioned in the Bible? Well, firstly, let me address that second question about the topic of America. Just because America is not mentioned in the word of God does not mean that this nation doesn't exist in the kingdom of heaven. God exists outside of time and he knows the beginning from the end. So do you not think that at the time that the Bible was written, God didn't already know that the nation of America would be created? This type of thinking is very close-minded, religious, and it puts God in a box. In fact, many of you don't know this, but high-level Luciferians and occultists that run this world all share a similar belief that America is mystery Babylon that was spoken in the book of Revelation. Not that occultists or Luciferians hold any sort of moral intellect that we don't, but these people are having meetings with Satan, so why do you think they all believe that? Obviously, the devil knows something something that we don't. I'm not saying that America is for sure Mystery Babylon, but there probably is a chance that it is considering that these people believe so. In fact, America's history is shockingly founded off of Babylonian witchcraft and Babylonian god worship. Even monumental buildings engraved in this country's history like the Statue of Liberty is actually a satanic altar of the Babylonian goddess Ishtar. Now back to the first question that the skeptics may have. Why would something like an eclipse indicate that this is a sign from God? Many people don't know this about the biblical history of Nineveh, but something similar happened when Jonah preached judgment to them. Ancient history also shows that right before Nineveh repented in the Bible story of Jonah, there was a total solar eclipse called the Bur Segal Eclipse, which was one of the astronomical phenomena that caused an entire pagan city to repent from their pagan practices and turn back to the true God Yahweh. This solar eclipse was also engraved in ancient Assyrian archaeological findings, further verifying that an astronomical event took place during this time. America has a abandon God and fully embrace perverse secular values, and this eclipse very well may be a sign from the heavens that the doors for repentance are closing. This should be a wake-up call to repent of your sins and turn back to Jesus before it's too late. I love America, and I'm very proud to be a citizen here, but let's just face the facts. It's not surprising that God is getting close to judging this country. Things that were all viewed as sin 10 years ago are now being promoted as normal, and this poisonous ideology that has destroyed the West is being exported to nations around the world. One of the reasons why the devil attacks America so much with embracing sinful values is because he knows other countries view the United States as the moral authority due to their financial success and freedoms that other countries don't have. This causes a negative psychological influence on other countries that are originally traditional to start embracing progressive beliefs since they look up to America as a country. A classic example is the Hollywood industry which has given birth to many other entertainment industries outside of America. Every Christian who lives here in America America can feel in the spirit how wicked this country is getting. However, Christians here in 
the West are the frontline defense against the demons that are trying to destroy this nation. So if you love America like I do, I would encourage you to pray for this country and pray that people repent and turn back to Jesus. Keep in mind that a warning from God is different than judgment. A warning means we still have time, so let's redeem the time and evangelize about the gospel of Jesus Christ to everyone around us. It's in our best interest to want America to continue to prosper, or at least in my best interest because I only speak English in tongues. That's it. <laughs> I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you're going to pray for America, drop a comment down below with the word praying with the prayer emoji and the American flag. I want to give a shout out to Joaquin for sewing into this ministry financially. If you guys want to financially sew into this ministry, you can check so with the link in the description. I'll see you guys soon for another video. God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out. Ain't a game, Jesus who I claim. Yeah, he reigns, cross up on my chain. Brand new lane, heaven my domain. The world I gain, but it ain't do a thing. Ain't a game, Jesus who I claim. Yeah, he reigns, cross up on my chain.